హాయ్ వివర్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ శ్రీరాములు సో టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ అ ఫేజ్ షిఫ్ట్ ఆసిలేటర్ ఓకే ఫేజ్ షిఫ్ట్ ఫేజ్ విల్ షిఫ్ట్ రైట్ సో దట్ మీన్స్ సపోజ్ ఆ సిగ్నల్ ఈజ్ లైక్ దిస్ సో ఇట్ బికమ్స్ లైక్ దిస్ దట్ ఈస్ అ ఫేజ్ షిఫ్ట్ ద సర్క్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఎ బీజేటీ బీజేటీ స్టాండ్స్ ఫర్ బైపోలా జంక్షన్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ రైట్ బీజేటీ మీన్స్ బైపోలార్ జంక్షన్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ ఓకే ద సర్క్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఎ బీజేటీ ఫేజ్ షిఫ్ట్ ఆసిలేటర్ ఈ షోన్ ఇన్ ఫిగర్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ అ డయాగ్రామ్ ఓకే ద సర్క్యూట్ ఈజ్ డ్రాన్ టు షో క్లియర్లీ ద యాంప్లిఫయర్ అండ్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ నెట్వర్క్ విచ్ కన్సిస్ట్ త్రీ ఆర్సీ సెక్షన్స్ ఆర్సీ సెక్షన్ మీన్స్ ఆర్ స్టాండ్స్ ఫర్ రెసిస్టర్ సి స్టాండ్స్ ఫర్ కెపాసిటర్ సీ ద డయాగ్రామ్ త్రీ ఆర్సి సెక్షన్స్ ఓకే ఇట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆర్సి సెక్షన్ సెకండ్ ఆర్సి సెక్షన్ థర్డ్ ఆర్సి సెక్షన్ లైక్ దిస్ త్రీ ఆర్సి సెక్షన్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ వాట్ ద మెయిన్ వర్క్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఆర్ త్రీ ఆర్సి సెక్షన్ సో లెట్ మీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ హియర్ ద ఆర్సి ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ నెట్వర్క్ ప్రొడ్యూసెస్ ఏ టోటల్ ఫేస్ ఇఫ్ట్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఎయిటీ డిగ్రీ so its main work is to produce 180 phase shift degree 180 degree phase shift so that means uh, here how many sections are there three section then each section is producing 60 degree so this was 60 it is 60 it is 60 totally 180 degree phase shift right totally 180 degree phase shift uh, will be produced okay the rc feedback network produces a total phase shift of 180 degree that means here a uh, 60 degree per each section and ce ce means common emitter transistor amplifier produces a phase shift 180 degree so here one second come back to the diagram here its work is what its work is to produce 180 degree phase shift and not only it produce 180 degree it also produce one more 180 degree so generally if there is no let me let it is not there here for example it is not there here if you are giving input signal so this is input signal i am giving right it is input signal to this amplifier what it will do you know when we give this input to the amplifier see to the configuration then it produce amplified factor amplified wave but in like this see it is smaller one it is a bigger one that means it is amplified but inverted f- uh, uh, diagram will be we will get so that means uh, this pi becomes uh, this positive cycle becomes negative cycle negative cycle become positive cycle but what i need i don't need so this one what i what how i am giving input the same thing i want to get output with amplified form then on then what i have to do i have to connect the certain things before it or after it in certain books what are there you know this rc section is uh, at the output only in certain books the rc section is input and in certain books rc section is output only so do no need to worry about this so then that is why here it is producing so when we give the input signal like this here then what it will produce you know it produce amplified form like this and uh, when this is a uh, given to the input of the amplifier then again it produces same waveform but with amplified form see it is converted here like this and again converted into like this so what i am giving the same phase i am getting this side therefore <coughs> therefore total phase shift between the input and output uh, circuit is 360 or 0 degree right so it is like this and output also i am getting same thing but amplified form so no change means 0 degree uh, we can say or 360 degree also 0 degree 360 degree so both are same the basic phase the basic phase shift oscillator produces a sine wave output signal using feedback feedback obtained from the resistor capacitor combination right basic phase shift oscillator produces what it produce sine wave so sine wave is like this output signal so it is a produced at output why because it is a oscillator feedback obtained from a resistor combination okay from resistor combination in the figure 
see the diagram in the figure R B R E are there where R B it is R B and this is R E so see here clearly this is R B it is R E it is R C it is C E okay and this is called as C C right it is C C not given here actually it is C C this is this one this capacitor C E C capacitor coupling capacitor we call CC stands for coupling okay so what is the use of RBRE <coughs> provides a necessary biasing condition for the circuit in the three identical resistor resistors may in RC set RC network the last resistor value of uh, the last resistor value of value is uh, the last resistor value is somewhat lesser than the remaining two as the base resistance of the transistor is added to it here r3 is there r1 r2 having a certain value but r3 is uh, comparing to this two is less value it has so to this to balance uh, the input here input is base base resistance is added to it right so base resistance is added to it and re rb re what they do they provide necessary bias condition that means to make this uh, transistor into active region active region means input section must be forward bias and output section must be reverse bias so that is the main work of these two things so it uh, these two resistor can make input section input section is forward bias output section is in reverse bias when the circuit is uh, energized by switching on the supply the circuit start oscillating okay so when the this is a uh, given generally it is given to the battery so when we switch on it then this starts oscillating the oscillations may start uh, due to the noise inherent in a transistor of minor variations of voltage of DC causes various in base current. So this oscillation is because of what you know, because of noise uh, which is present inside the transistor. And how it create you know minor variation means small change in voltage, voltage of DC source cause variation of base current. So because of this what happens, the uh, base current will um, change. So because of this only noise will produce and this noise can make this uh, to oscillate this circuit to oscillate this variation in base current is amplified in the collector circuit so this base current is amplified in the collector circuit then it is fed feedback means it is given to the back through phase shift network and finally amplified to the base in phase in phase means same phase here in phase means same phase means output and input phase is same with base current this oscillation will be maintained if the loop gain is at least equal unity loop gain must be equal to unity then only what oscillation will be maintained okay so when the small current will be produced base current and base current can be here amplified at the collector okay then it is a feedback it is given to the back through what through phase shift network and finally again amplified it is with in phase not out of phase the base current so this oscillations will be maintained however to store the oscillation the loop gain must be greater than unity so it uh, above circuit one to become say oscillations oscillator then loop gain how much it must be unity means one it must be one this value must be one so it oscillating means it has to produce a frequency it must has a frequency its frequency is how much the frequency of oscillations is given by f naught is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc root root 6 in certain books in certain books such as unified this value is given as 2 pi rc root 10 in certain book it is given as root 6 in certain book it is given as root 10 the phase shift oscillator is particularly useful for generating signals in the audio frequency range. Audio means sound. 
okay to produce a sound and is not only bulky is not in big in size not expense also so it is cheaper compared to other things it is not a big in size it is not costly it is a it is cheap and it is used in audio frequency range okay friends this is a video don't forget to subscribe in this video thank you